Okay, so you are aware, these four, last year's unit exam questions. Okay, give you some idea, level of difficulty I'm going to ask. Okay, so in our first one here, how many moles? What are we looking for? N, right? From the mole equation, that's the part that's moles. Okay, so we're looking for N, okay, are in 65 grams, so they just gave us little m, the mass, and they told us it's water, okay, H2O, which will be 1.01, our hydrogens, times 2, okay, plus 16, which is 18.02 grams per mole. Okay. We're looking for N, so we don't even have to manipulate this. All we have to do is plug in our numbers here. That would be 65 grams divided by 18.02 grams per mole. So the grams will cancel, leave us with moles, and once my calculator finally fires up, we'll have our answer. Point something. 65 divided by 18.02. All right, 3.61. Questions on that one? Okay. And then for our second one, what's the mass? So we're looking for a little m of 8 moles, so they give us n of magnesium chloride. Okay, what do I have to do with that? I have to drop and swap, right? This is a minus one, this is a plus two, so we're looking at MgCl2. So we got 24.31 plus 35.45 times two. Twenty-four point three one plus thirty-five point four five times two, looking at ninety-five point two one grams per mole. All right. So now we have N and we have big M. So N equals little M over big M. I'm trying to find little M. So if I want to move something, I do the opposite. So I'm going to multiply by M. What I do to one side, I do to the other. M times little n, okay, will give me a little m. So we're looking at 95.21, big M, times 8, n, equals little m. So 761.68 grams. Okay. Questions on now? How many people have done number three? Okay, I'll give you a couple more minutes on three and four. Remember that three and four are both going to involve the use of Avogadro's number because they are talking about the number of molecules. Okay, so for number three, we are looking for the number of molecules. Okay, if I'm going to get the number of molecules, I'm going to need the number of moles along with Avogadro's number. Okay, so we're looking for how many molecules of sodium sulfide, Na with S, minus 2, plus 1. So we're looking at Na2S, so that'll be 22.99 plus 32.06 on yours, right? Okay. You said times your 22.99. Oh, sorry, I forgot to multiply by 2. Yep, you got her. Times 2 plus 32. Six. Okay, seven. See, I feel like it should be six. I don't know why I think that. Twenty-two point nine nine times two plus thirty-two point zero seven. Seventy-eight point oh five grams per mole. All right. And the other thing they tell us is little m, 200 grams. All right, so right now I have big M and little m, which means I can find the number of moles. So 200 grams divided by 78.05, right, will tell me the number of moles. I'm taking the grams I have and dividing it by the mass of one mole. So 
So 2.56 moles. Remember, I'm going to keep all those decimals in my calculator, though, until I'm all done. All right, so now that I have the number of moles, I need to find the number of molecules. Luckily, I know how many molecules are in one mole. It's this many. Avogadro's number. If I multiply by, if I multiply the number of molecules in one mole, this number, by the number of moles, I will get the number of molecules. All right, so we're looking at 1.54 times 10 to the 24 molecules. How important are units? Well, if you want that extra mark, yep, they're important. Okay. You don't have units on your answer, it's just wrong. Okay, so make sure you have it on there. Questions on number three. Okay, how many people have done four? All right, let's do that. So this one's the opposite of what we just did. We start out with the number of molecules and are asked to work backwards to the mass. Okay, so the number of molecules is 1.2 times 10 to the 25. Since I know how many molecules there are, and I know how many molecules are in one mole, I can calculate the number of moles, right? I take the number of molecules and I divide it by the number of molecules in one mole to get the number of moles. So this is going to be a fairly large number of moles. Right? So 1.2 E25 divided by Avogadro's number. All right, 19.9 moles. Again, I'm going to keep all those decimals until the end. All right, so I've got 19.9 moles. So now I have N, and the other thing the question told me was that this stuff is iron 3, or sorry, iron 2, nitrate. NO3, that's a 3, 2. All right, so when I'm calculating the molar mass of this stuff, I've got iron, 55.85, only one of those, plus how many nitrogens? Two. And how many oxygens? Okay. All right, so 55.85 um, plus... 28.02, that's our uh, nitrogens, plus 16 times 6, our oxygens. All right, so there's our molar mass, 179.87 grams per mole. All right, so I have big M. I already calculated N, so now I can find little m. And I would do that by multiplying both sides by big M. Okay, which will look like this, 179.87 multiplied by 19.9. In my calculator, I'm keeping all of the decimals, so I'll have my uh, answer. What, whoops. My, uh, that's not what I want either. I want my answer, 179.87. And I want to multiply it by that number with all the decimals in it. And I forgot to put a multiplication sign in between. But now that's fixed. All right. I am going to have 3,585.45 grams. OK. Questions on those? All right. Okay. Uh, so you want everything to be rounded to two decimal places. Yes. And then what if you, what if it's like nine, eight or something, so you round up, you put zero, point zero? Yeah, if you have nine, nine, eight, then it's point zero, zero. Okay. Yeah. And um, what's the unit for the one we did right before this one? What do you put for the units? Molecule. Molecule. Yeah. You could also say particles, that would also be true. Okay. All right, how are we feeling about the mole stuff? I hope you feel that way tomorrow too. I'm sure you will. Okay? There really shouldn't be any surprises on your unit exam tomorrow. I told you what's on it, and I wasn't lying. Okay? Right. 
exactly what's on it. How many people have done the practice test already? Okay. How did that go? Good? Okay. Um, if you did good on the practice test, you know that's what your test looks like. Okay. It gives you a pretty good idea of where you're sitting. Okay. Um, here's some simple things to do today, tonight, tomorrow morning. Okay. These are the things that people don't put enough credit on or importance on. How much sleep should you get tonight? Okay. You should try and get eight hours of sleep. Okay? At your age, that's how much you should get. Okay? When you're old like me and death is approaching, you, you, you cherish each moment much more and say, I can't waste time on sleep. I'll get all the sleep I need when I'm dead. But, you know, at your age, eight hours is a nice healthy amount, uh, especially before a test. So you should uh, try and get as much sleep as possible. Don't be pulling an all-nighter, okay, reviewing your chemistry stuff. If that's where you're at, at like 2 o'clock this morning, you're like, oh, I have a test tomorrow. I need to study. You're screwed already. Just to get some sleep and come in fresh. Okay? Um, so, yeah, make sure you get a good night's sleep. In the morning, get a good breakfast. Black coffee and cigarettes is not the breakfast of champions. Okay? Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. Okay? Um, the black coffee part, not so bad, but um, yeah, the other part, not so good. Um, but make sure you get a good breakfast. Your brain needs fuel in order for it to work, okay? I don't know if you guys are like me, but my blood sugar starts to drop, I get hangry, hangry, okay? And yeah, I'm not pleasant to be around, and I don't think well either, okay? So that's that's not good. Make sure you're, you're fed, okay? And well hydrated. It, it's important to be well hydrated. Your brain needs fluid, okay? If you are dehydrated, you will not do well. Dehydration is the leading cause of poor performance in all things, not just athletics, academics, everything. Dehydration is really bad. So make sure you are well hydrated and well fed. Those are the easy things to do, okay? Those are the easy things to do before your test tomorrow. Okay, last thing, my personal piece of advice. When you get here tomorrow, if you're getting here at like, you know, 10 to 8 or 8 o'clock, you're like, oh, I have 15 more minutes to cram. Don't. You will retain nothing that you do in that 15 minutes. Okay? And here's the worst part of it. What often happens when people do that is they blank when they get the test. Because what they've done is they've crammed a bunch of stuff into their short term memory, which lasts for a very short term. Hence, short term memory. Okay? Lasts about five minutes. And so you'll get your test and you'll be like, oh, and you look at the front page, oh no. And it'll be because your short term memory just reset. Okay? Hopefully you've done enough studying that your long term memory is still there. But if you've ever had that sensation of looking at the first page of a test and blanking, that's what's going on. Unless, of course, you studied nothing up until that point, and then, of course, it's just a natural consequence of your inaction. But, okay? Um, yeah, don't cram right before the test. That's not going to help you. You need to, like, Relax before a test, okay? Do whatever will calm you the most within reason, remembering the rules of the school, okay? Okay, just putting that out there. Right. In case something like that relaxes you, you don't want to do that before a test, okay? Um, yeah, but that's, you need to be in the right frame of mind and the right frame of body when you get here to write a test, okay? Those are, those are the easy things to do. Okay, so try and do those in addition to good preparation. All right, were there any other questions about the test for tomorrow? How many pages is it? I don't remember how many pages it is. I just know that the number of questions, six okay, and 33. Okay. Um, any other questions? Yes. Is there any short answer on yeah, the written response. Sorry, I wasn't there. Oh, yeah, sorry, you weren't. Oh, you didn't watch the recording from Friday. Well, I mean, oh. I did. Oh. Okay. I was there, and then I didn't. Written response. Yes, there are six written responses. First, the balancing and predicting reactions and uh, the drawing picture of the atom, and then the whole equation, and then draw the blank. Ah, my short-term memory just failed. Um, 
All right, solubility and polar nature water, and yeah, that's that. Okay. Anything else? Okay. We never did get to the second page of mole equation problems that are in your digital workbook. Okay. Um, that page is worded quite a bit differently than any of the ones we've gone over thus far, and the ones on your test are not going to be worded the way that second worksheet is. So if you're looking at the second worksheet tonight and going, oh my god, these sound totally different and I don't understand what Mr. Kudar is asking, they're just contextual questions, so um, they're worded much differently. On the test, it's going to be very basic. How many moles of this are in this many grams? Um, how many grams are in this many moles? Like it'll be very basic. Just do this calculation. Here's the information you need. Okay. So I'm not going to tell the story in the question. Okay. On there. Okay. So just uh, keep that in mind if you're looking at that sheet. Okay. Um, all right. So, what time can you be here tomorrow? Eight fifteen. Right. You can start at eight fifteen. Okay. Um, and then obviously right until the end, unless you have a provision from learning support for extra time. If you have any provisions, I know about them and I'll make sure that you get them tomorrow. Okay, if that applies to you, you know who you are. Okay. Um, in terms of the rest of you, okay, you can start at 8.15. When the bell goes at 10.03, you're done. Can you start at like 8.20 or does it have to Yeah, anytime after 8.15. You can start, yeah. So if you get here at 8.20, that's fine. You just get five minutes less. All right. Um, keep in mind, guys, that if you're not wanting that extra time and you're just wanting to hang out with your friends until 8.35, you can't hang out in here, okay? People will be writing the test and you can't be in here, right? If you're not writing it, I would suggest you just come in and get started. Okay. Nolan, question? If you finish it early, you hand it in, take your phone back, and chill for a while. Or five, whatever you call it. Can I keep my phone in the bottom of my backpack? No. Okay? If you have a phone, I need it in the bin. Okay. Okay? Powered down so it can't communicate with the smartwatch or whatever. Right? And that's something, guys, you just have to get used to. That's going to be. Um, procedure on my unit exams and all your final exams as well, okay? Um, and yeah, it's kind of a big deal if you get caught with a phone during the test. Like, big deal, you get a zero kind of big deal. No, it's awkward for everybody. <laughs> Less awkward for me, it doesn't affect me, other than I have to deliver bad news, but um, really bad for you. All right, well, We'll leave it at that for today. We're done a little bit early, but if you got other questions, don't be afraid to ask. Okay.